Hard times. We're going to need a pen then. Stefan's been here for five minutes. He's already made a sale. We're already selling, bro. <laughs> We're selling. Do you have a pen? Hello everybody, Jeff here, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some tragic news that happened just two days ago, and it was the passing of legendary man Stefan Arneo, who is an award-winning author and real estate coach to so many of you. The amount of support he's been getting over the last couple days has been phenomenal. You guys have been killing it. I had just put out a video on this channel promoting him to try to get people to raise money to help him with his cancer. and. I had just been texting with him on Sunday and then all of a sudden I, I get a text from one of his students saying, I'm sure you've already heard and I hadn't heard and uh, it was pretty crazy to see that. Uh, people were pretty sad. I know our team was pretty shuck up about it. Uh, he was a legendary figure that was just providing so much value in the real estate space out there. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to have met him, I've had dinner with him multiple times. He had come to three of the conferences, a real estate conference that I had put on, OREC, Ontario Real Estate Conference, he came to that one and, actually he only came to two of them actually. So he came to a Windsor one and then a one we did in London. At the conference, he was the star. It may have been my conference and Matt McKeever's conference, but Stefan Arneo was the star. Uh, I have a video, I'll put it in here now, of him throwing books at people. And this was one of his hilarious uh, sticks that he had going on. He'd bring up some of his books because he'd have them for sale just like this out, uh, at his trade booth. And he would, you know, who wants a copy? And everybody loves free stuff. So he'd chuck it and uh, people would just die for it. And I've seen like grown men die for a $20, $30 book. Pretty funny. He also told a really funny story that a previous time in Toronto, he actually threw a book. The husband missed it. It hit a wife and the wife or husband felt so embarrassed that they wanted to sue Stefan Arneo. And, uh, you know, those are kind of things that would always really probably haunt me. And I'd be like, oh my goodness, I, can't, I went to Toronto and now I'm getting sued. But that kind of stuff just rolled off Stefan's back. And that was the man he was. He was that strong man that nothing really faced him whatsoever. It's better if you write it down. I'm not getting you to write it down for my sake. It's for your sake. If you write it down, it goes in your muscle memory. You're going to remember it. If you just sit there. I can remember times in Windsor as well. He'd pull me aside and he was really passionate about me uh, leveling up and really wondering what we're doing putting on these conferences. And myself, I've wondered multiple times, like, why am I putting on these conferences? And I think just like Stefan, he loves giving back to the people. Uh, that's what our conferences were about. So I'm, if you were at one of the OREX, I'd love to hear down in the comment sections if you actually made it there and you talked to Stefan. It was a great day. He came to our VIP dinner afterwards as well. And he was just larger than life. So I wanted to read to you guys a few awesome tweets that I found recently on his Twitter. These are pretty recent. But just to give him a bit of his accolades out, you know, he's an award-winning real estate investor, blogger, author, entrepreneur, self-made millionaire, and you can shop for his books down below. This guy has so many books out right now, I couldn't even be, I don't even know how I would produce a book, but this guy is, seems like he produced a book every quarter here in the last so many years. He can't even keep up, uh, so I'm sure a lot of you have it. If you don't, get over to his store and purchase his books. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna go to help the family. I'm not 100% sure what's gonna be happening with his team, but they did put a post out and they say, as we write these words, we are certain that Stefan's legacy will not die. The Black Card, which is his Black Card University, and the High Key team will make sure it prospers. So it sounds like his legacy obviously is gonna be living on, but his actual guys are gonna be working hard to keep that going, keep his brand going, probably help out the family. But not just that, probably help out all of you guys as well too, because a lot of amazing real estate investors in that I've been meeting over the last five, six years, all go back to Stefan Arneo and his push. He was the coach. If you wanna be an Olympic athlete, you need an amazing coach. He was the Olympic athlete coach for real estate investors. And myself as a real estate investor, I've seen so many of you guys use all this knowledge. Uh, do yourself a favor, like I said, get one of these books. But I want to read you guys a few of the amazing quotes that I've seen from Stefan, and they're really gonna help you in your life. So we gotta talk about a quote that he has pinned here because either himself or his team found this quote extremely powerful. Stefan Arneo, February 25th. Why are you so average? Simple, you follow average advice. So you do what's safe and acceptable for the majority of people. 
If you want to become extraordinary, you have to start listening to advice from extraordinary people. Extraordinary. And it's so true. I'll probably hark on this a lot. You just need to surround yourself with better people. If you're just hanging out with average people, that's what you're gonna be. You're gonna be average. And of course, my grass cutters are here. Are you kidding me? Did they just cut the grass? This is one that I really particularly, particularly, is that even a word? Particularly like, if you want to increase your income, increase your knowledge. Learn a specific skill that is valuable or in high demand, i.e. buying, selling, real estate, copywriting, trading, stocks, etc. A million ways to do it, choose one and start learning. So it's just like I was talking about with the coach, you need to increase your knowledge in order to make money. If you're just gonna stay at the bottom level, that's what you're gonna be. You're gonna be at the bottom. That is why a lot of successful people actually put a lot of time into studying and figuring out the strategies of people that have already done it. They're not just hanging out again with their normal friends. A lot of his content he took from his seminars and they rebranded it because he's a very busy man. I wanted to show you guys this one here. There's three ways to get ahead in this life, guys. Three ways. One is go into sales and entrepreneurship. Sales has been the reason why I've been able to get everything. I didn't know this. Canada taught me I'm supposed to go to school, eventually go to post-secondary and get a job. Nobody told me I could go do sales. That wasn't just something the guidance counselor in high school talked to you about. Oh, what do you want to do? Oh, I just want to go uh, risk it every day in sales. But if you guys are watching this and you have the safety net of a salary, you're only going to ever make that much unless you get a little bit of a raise. And you see those people and they're on those amazing vacations and your only response is, Ah, man, you're so lucky. No, those people have been working their butts off in sales and then they're probably on the phone while they're on those vacations. And that's the hustle of an entrepreneur. If you're in sales, you can 10 exit, you can earn an amazing amount of money. Number two, go to school, get a specific school. So he says go to school, get a specific skill. I would recommend going into some of the trades if you have to go that route because you can get out of high school a lot quicker and start earning top dollar and then maybe use some of that money to purchase real estate. So something like a plumber is in high demand, carpenter, start working in the construction. It would really benefit for you if you're super young watching this to get into one of those skills because after you do that for so long and you're around houses, you're gonna be networking with people and eventually hopefully you'll buy some houses. Don't be fooled into, oh, I, I wanna be a lawyer because they make a lot of money. Uh, a lot of work goes into becoming a lawyer. A lot more work than I've ever put in. And I've met a lot of lawyers and they hate their job. They like the paycheck, but they never see their home life and it's just, just negative all day. Anybody ready for number three? Get a sugar daddy. <laughs> okay, now most of you men probably out on the sugar daddy. And with that, that is exactly who Stefan Arnio was. He just called it as it is. A lot of people in this space are very safe and they only say the right things. Uh, when he's such an independent person, that he, he would just say these things. This is why he writes books, Hard Times Create Strong Men. I wouldn't have a title like that. I'd be too scared. Stefan Arnio was the guy that would post that on a book and wear it on his sleeve like a badge of honor. Human beings often do not see value in something until it is taken away. How true is that? If you can make your offer limited or scarce in nature, you will motivate the animalistic tendency of scarcity in humans and your offer will instantly become more valuable. Stefan was the master of selling and he would put big ticket items like $60,000 for his coaching. And if you're just watching this thinking, who would ever pay $60,000? People pay $60,000 because they wanna make $500,000. Stefan really brought upon an abundance mindset it was one of the first people in this space that I've ever seen do it. And now there's other people doing it as well. Obviously, Matt McKeever, Ben Mearson uh, with the Cashflow Tribe are doing this a lot. But Stefan Arnio was the pioneer, if you ask me. Immigrants are four times more likely to become millionaires than average Americans or Canadians. They already have entrepreneurial mentality from the start. Nothing more entrepreneurial than moving to a new country with nothing but hopes and dreams. Yeah, I'd have to agree with them. A lot of people, myself included, I didn't have to go through a hard time in my childhood. My parents worked very hard. We had food on the table every single night. Didn't have a rough time. I never had to escape communism or be from a war-torn country and come over to Canada. The only thing difficult I actually had to do was eventually join the army and go off to Afghanistan. But that was myself that did that. 
definitely had a very safe life in Canada. And you see it all the time. A lot of the people that are actually hustling are people that have come to this country from other countries. Here's one of like, the power of words are remarkable. Tell a man he's a failure and he may believe you and become a failure. Tell a man he's a success and he may believe you and become a success. Use the power of words to your advantage. Another great way of saying that is those that think they can and those that think they can't are also both right. For the successful entrepreneur, self-development is like oxygen. A smart man learns from his mistakes, but a genius learns from the mistake of others. Learn from the mistakes of others so you don't have to make them yourselves. If you are a lone wolf out there, just, just stop. Just start networking with the people that are actually ahead of you. And this is why coaching does cost a lot of money because these people have spent thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars on mistakes. One of the scarcest things we actually have is time. So stop trying to do it all yourself. So just get out there, speed up time by actually learning from people that are, are doing it. it. It's not that hard. If I wanna be a professional hockey player, maybe I'll go hang out with Austin Matthews all day. Maybe I'll pick up a few tips on how to do a wrist shot. If I just wanna like play on my driveway hockey all day, I'm probably not gonna make the NHL. So if you wanna be a top real estate investor, you're gonna to wanna to hang out with top real estate investors. It's that simple. Stop making it hard. I'm gonna have to throw a book at you guys like Stefan. Going to seminars and reading books is no substitute for taking action. You will learn more by taking action than anything you'll ever read in a book. Action is where real progress is made. There are so many investors out there that just won't even offer on a property. They wanna go look at 50 of them and never pull the trigger. Remember, ready, shoot, aim. Just get close, pull the trigger. Stop going to every single conference and being a seminar junkie. You gotta get out there and purchase real estate. Don't be so afraid. Just remember, it's just a box on land. It's not that scary. You're gonna be okay. It's a part of everyday life. For some reason in the West, we see negotiation as a bad thing. Getting a good deal or making more money is a bad thing. The ability to bend people at your will is a bad thing. Not in my book, and not in my book either, Stefan. If you wanna get good at negotiating, it's very simple. You just have to put in the reps. It's just like anything. You're gonna to have to put yourself in that ring and box against the other person and figure it out. If you're always never gonna get in the ring, you're never gonna figure it out. Make more offers and you're gonna just learn better negotiating skills. Or, here's a Stefan plug, get this book. It's his negotiating commandment book here where he pretty much gives you the rebuttal on everything a seller would ever say and how to actually make money. So get good at this stuff. You know, people go to the gym to train. This is where you should be training. Train on negotiation. It'll make you tens of thousands of dollars. So guys, in closing here, I wanna read to you guys one more tweet here. He who gives the most usually gets the most. If you're broke, you can still be a giver. Try giving your gratitude and thanks. And give what little you have without expecting anything in return. This is how to develop a life of abundance and wealth. Stefan Arnia was a giver. This guy would DM direct message, if you don't even know what that means, with all of you guys constantly on his deathbed while he was struggling from cancer. He would help you guys out in real estate knowledge. He was a giver. We wanna see his legacy continue on, so make sure to share this video with any of your friends. If you could, subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me and give a like for Stefan here on this video. And again, Stefan, I respect the grind.